Hello everybody, so this is mentality control number two. And this is about the brain and uh, two and three are more about how the brain works. And our brain can be our best friend, but it can also be our biggest enemy if we don't understand how the brain works in order to use it to our benefit. Most people don't and uh, let the brain do whatever it wants. And when you do that, you kind of lose mentality control. The first thing I wanna talk about are mirror neurons. So in the front of our brain here, it's a group of neurons they're called mirror neurons and they're a kind of learning center they're the things that allow us to watch someone in front of us trip over a rock and then we don't have to have the same experience to understand that tripping over a rock is a bad thing we see somebody do it we observe it and we learn without having to have the same experience and so we step around the rock or we watch somebody put their hand on a hot oven and we realize the oven is hot and we don't have to have the same experience to understand the oven is hot. Mirror neurons do this for us. They're a very good safety mechanism. It's a good thing. And when mirror neurons are doing this for us, it's very helpful. But mirror neurons uh, also cause us to latch onto things to get close and observe and learn. And that's fine if what you're getting close to and observing and learning are positive things for your life but it's not good when those things are negative things for your life. So imagine you're in a room and across the room you see a small group of people and they're all huddled together and they're having a little gossip as people do and they're having a little complaint about somebody, a situation or a person. Your mirror neurons latch onto that. It's like a bait and hook thing. And a tractor beam kind of draws you into it. And if you're not aware of how the brain works, you let your brain get you involved and you become attracted to it. And you'll soon find yourself among the group and once you're among the group, without even trying, you'll be joining the gossip and the complaining. And you'll be part of it. And this isn't healthy. So exactly the same process happens when, let's say you flick on the TV and you just happen to come upon a live police car chase. Your mirror neurons are observing and learning and they'll pull you into it. And you'll be paralyzed by it and you won't be able to break away because they hold you into it so you can learn from it. The drama hooks you in um, in a way that can be really unhealthy to you. It's, it's really hard to pull yourself away. So mirror neurons are what make us learn and mimic behaviors of others and, and, they and you know, we can become a product of our environment simply because we don't try to control our mentality with our mirror neurons. So if we are exposing our mirror neurons to successful people, biographies and inspiring TED Talks, looking at things we don't yet have yet but would like you know let's let's, let's go and look at a, 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 a you know say let's say your dream car is an aston martin let's go to the aston martin garage and let's expose our mirror neurons to what it feels like to sit in an aston martin that's good stuff that's really going to help it's going to speed up your success but if you expose them instead to sensationalist tv news headlines or gossipers and complainers uh, daily death counts for a virus um shoot them up movies well guess what you're not going to achieve success in the way that you desire. Your life will become a reflection of what you expose your mirror neurons to. It's remarkably simple, but most people don't understand this process. And so they just let the brain do whatever the brain wants to do. But the brain is yours. It sits on top of your neck. You have control. It's up to you how you use it. So the secret is to treat complainers and gossipers and TV news headlines with the same toxicity as tobacco smoke. When it's around you, get the hell out of there. If you're around a passive smoker, and I grew up, a passive, you know, my, my mother and father smoked 40 cigarettes a day each. So I grew up as a passive smoker. And it's disgusting and horrible. And um, now when I'm around smoke, I just, I, if someone's smoking around me, I'm, I'm out of there, I'm gone. So you get the hell away from it, it's poison. And so gossiping, complaining, TV, negative TV, sensationalist um, uh, headlines, treat it the same way that you would treat a smoking and when your mirror neurons get drawn to it disconnect and get out of there the same thing happens let's say you're in a you're in business and you have to go into a meeting and the meeting is a round table thing and everyone's bitching and moaning break the connection excuse yourself go to the bathroom for five minutes or go better still go out you know go outside and get some fresh air but break that connection your mirror neurons are incredibly strong they're like a tractor beam they're trying to help but if you don't control what you expose them to, then your life is not going to be the life that you want it to be. And so this is mentality control number two. Take control of your mirror neurons.
Thank you.